I want to tell you what's really going on right now. And by that, I mean the story that is not being reported in the corporate media. In part because the corporate media stands to benefit from all this. And in fact, on an ongoing basis, is benefiting from all this. What's going on here? is a, with regard to Brett Kavanaugh, with regard to the Supreme Court, with regard to Mitch McConnell holding Merrick Garland's seat open for a whole year, there, this is all part of a very large plan that has been going on for basically since, since 1980. It was, it was really put together in 1971 by Lewis Powell, or at least the, 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 that, that was, that was the, the birth of it. And, and throughout the 70s, it was expanded. And then into the 80s, of course, Reagan came into power, and we actually saw this happening. Uh, as, first of all, conservatives and libertarians, and this was the, I'm talking about the billionaire class. I'm not talking about the ones who, the, the, religi the right-wing religious people or the gun people, which, you know, make the Republican coalition along with the, the, uh, the Republicans who are only concerned about how much cash they have, basically. But this is, there is a, there's an ideology, a theory at work here that once ruled the U.S. Supreme Court and the U.S. And that theory is that if the Constitution, in Article I, Section 8, where it lists what are called the enumerated privileges or rights or, you know, whatever it may, enumer, the, the things that government may do, that if whatever the government is trying to do is not listed in that list, then the government can't do it. This is, in other words, get ready. If Brett Kavanaugh is on the Supreme Court, it's not just Roe v. Wade that's at risk. If Brett Kavanaugh gets on the Supreme Court and there is a reliable, hardcore, right-wing, libertarian, 5-4 majority, and there will be, then you can expect to see Social Security struck down. You can expect to see Medicare struck down. You can expect to see the minimum wage struck down. You can, you can even expect to see child labor laws struck down. And if it sounds like I'm nuts and I'm exaggerating and how could that ever be and America wouldn't stand for it, step into the Wayback Machine with me for a moment. And let's go back to 1935. The United States was starting to recover from the Great Depression as the result of the programs that Franklin Roosevelt put into place. The National Recovery Administration was the biggest. It put millions of people back to work. Uh, this, this was his uh, agency for industrial mobilization. The Agricultural Adjustment Administration, the AAA, you had the NRA, then there the AAA, uh, put farmers back on the map and gave them the right to declare bankruptcy and, and restart their lives and all kinds of good stuff. The Securities and Exchange Commission was regulating the stock market. The Rural Electrification Administration, the National Youth Administration, all of these had three-letter acronyms, SEC, REA, NYA, WPA, the Works Progress Administration, it sustained millions of Americans, including people like Jackson Pollock and John Cheever. The, uh, the, the National Youth Administration gave college students like uh, Arthur Miller the right to work their way through college. In 1935, Roosevelt introduced the Social Security Act. And his, uh, in, in the spring of 1935, Owen Roberts, who was a recent Supreme Court appointee, he was put on the court by Herbert Hoover about five years earlier, three, three, four years earlier. And he was only 60 years old. He was the youngest man on the court at the time started voting with these other four hardcore right-wingers who everybody referred to as the four horsemen of the apocalypse. And now it was five. And all of a sudden, the Supreme Court started striking these things down. They struck down the National Recovery Act. They struck down, you know, which, which struck down the minimum wage laws, which struck down the right to unionize, which struck down the right to, to uh, uh, petition and sue, or not the exact right words, but to challenge your employer's uh, practices, including safety practices. All of this was in the National Recovery Act. It was all struck down by the Supreme Court. They said, you know, that's not in the enumerated powers part of the, con the Constitution. Nowhere in the Constitution does it say National Recovery Act. Nowhere in the Constitution does it say Social Security. And they were fixing, by the way, to strike down Social Security in the 1937 court. 
They destroyed his plan for industrial recovery. Seven months later, they annihilated his farm program. This from uh, the Smithsonian. Annihilated his farm program by determining that the Agricultural Adjustment Act was unconstitutional. In 36, in June of 36, five to four decision, they struck down the New York state law providing a minimum wage for children and women who worked. In upstate New York Republican newspaper, the Knickerbocker Press said the law that would jail any laundry man for having an un underfed horse, they still had horses in 1936, should jail him for having an underfed girl employee, but no. This right-wing Supreme Court said, no, these are not the legitimate functions of government. This is instead socialism. And we have to stop socialism. And in the name of stopping socialism, the Supreme Court struck down all these programs back in the 1930s. And four of the, of the nine justices on the Supreme Court right now are on record in most of these situations as being opposed to modern day socialism, which would include Obamacare, and it would include uh, you know, the, the expansion of Medicaid, which Justice Roberts took down uh, along with his four buddies. They, you know, it just goes on and on and on. So, and, and these guys refer to this stuff as socialism. So it makes perfect sense that they're trying to get Brett Kavanaugh on the court. He will join the other four as a reliable fifth vote to say, no, if it's not in the enumerated powers, you know, provision of the Constitution, it's not legal. And thus Donald Trump goes before the United Nations this morning. And reading a speech that was written in large part, apparently by Stephen Miller, has this to say. Virtually everywhere socialism or communism has been tried, it has produced suffering, corruption, and decay. Socialism's thirst for power leads to expansion, incursion, and oppression. All nations of the world should resist socialism and the misery that it brings. And you know that Socialism is the new tag that the Republicans are using to paint Democrats who want to strengthen Social Security, who want to continue to have Medicare. I'm telling you, Medicare is not in the Constitution. I mean, they, they struck down in 1935, or actually it was in 36, and this all changed, by the way, in 37, when, when one of the members, one of the, that five, uh, that group of five, one, one of them, one of him, changed his vote and said, okay, I'm going to vote with the liberals on the court or with the, they weren't even liberals back then, but I'm going to stop voting with the four horsemen because th FDR threatened to change the court, to pack the court. So this, I mean, this is what we are looking at right now. And what, you know, apparently nobody wants to be talking about but go back and look at the Supreme Court decisions that were 5-4, where the, where the four votes who lost were the four conservatives on the court. Those four conservatives would prefer that the banks aren't regulated, would prefer that, that your right to sue, well, actually five of them blew that up, your right to sue. Now you've got to submit yourself to binding arbitration. Even if you click a shrink wrap agreement when you open your software, or if you sign a, an employment agreement, or if you sign a credit card statement. So, you know, they've already taken away a lot of our protections and it's continuing and it's getting worse. And this is what's really going on. And this is why these Republicans are, are willing to, you know, not just break precedent, shatter precedent by holding a Supreme Court seat open for over 400 days, this or over a year. This is why the Republicans are willing to shatter precedent and say, no, no, we, you know, we, and, and Brett Kavanaugh himself last night on, on Fox News, I do not want an FBI investigation. 
Who wants the FBI investigation? The women accusing him. You know, we'll get into that a, a little later. It's, that's kind of common knowledge. That's what the media will talk about. But what they're not talking about is this 50-year-long Republican plan. They couldn't take over the country with Congress. They couldn't stamp out socialism with Congress. They couldn't do it in the states. As much as they tried, Scott Walker, Rick Snyder, uh, Rick Scott, all these guys, as much as they tried to stamp out socialism, they couldn't. And so they said, okay, screw it. We're gonna take the court. The court controls everything.